Welcome everybody to the next episode of the Ask Reddit series, with today's episode being on what is a very common thing that you just cannot relate to. Brionia says, running a brush through my hair, I have very curly hair, so only finger brush it when it's wet, which isn't often. Seeing people grab a brush and run it through their hair when they've been in the wind, or just to freshen up, is something they would wish. Valley G says, I have to brush it in the shower because it's, it's just too curly and thick to do anything with. Uh, my sister, whose hair is like her father's, would never understand the struggle, grabbed a round hairbrush one day and thought it would be funny put it in my hair. It got stuck and I just sat there and cried. Another time when I was really young, my aunt, who was my father's whiter half-sister, decided to put little tiny buns all over my head with newspaper elastics that ended up getting stuck and ripping out my hair. I literally bled because of it. Being quiet late at night when your parents are asleep. My parents are deaf. <laughs> Would you quit waving your arms? I have a headache. Sometimes it's worse when they don't say anything. They just stand there and give you the death stare. That reminds me of when I was a groomsman for a bro and his wife's maid of honor was deaf. He mentioned her in passing a few months prior, but forgot to remind me the day of the wedding. So her and I were both unloading tablecloths next to each other, and I glanced over to make small talk. I remember just looking at her like, I know she heard me, then a couple of seconds passed and she looked over to me staring at her with a confused smile on my face. I think there was about three seconds of dead air and then she just smiled, laid out a faint chuckle and then went back to work. I didn't know whether to be offended or what. Then it hit me, thankfully nobody noticed my complete embarrassment. After that, I just waited for her to look at me before talking so she could read my lips. She was very sweet and lovely to talk to. <laughs> I have a friend that I didn't know was deaf until I'd known her for like three months. A decent sized group of us were out at dinner and she seemed bored and disinterested in conversation the whole evening. I made a remark about it to someone like, oh, she's deaf, she had a hard time in larger groups situations, keep bringing up the conversations because it's hard to read lips. I thought my buddy was trying to pull my leg. He saw he was not. I was like, how are you telling me you just met this now? <laughs> Seems like it would have been a permanent <coughs> information. <laughs> Alonian Melody says, I'm stressing just at the prospect of being a child and not knowing if something happens to me in the house. I just can't scream for help. Waffle Fox says, As I've gotten older, one of the weirdest things was flipping perspectives from ch child to adult. I was just dressing at the prospect of something happening to my child and not knowing, not be able to help. Maybe a kind of shock color for the parents. Yannis says, I also really like it. I can listen to podcasts or watch TV shows while working, and I love the fixed schedules coming out of gastronomy work. That's heaven. <laughs> Ship Without a Storm says, I kind of missed the random chit-chat and minor socialization here, and there that came from being in an office. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the least social people out there, but still need some of it from time to time. Being cooped up at home has been a drag. I started a new job about four months ago and have never met any of these people in person. Being able to do normal amount of housework and errands and still have plenty of energy left for hobbies. I have ADHD. Zen Nizabar says on an ADHD train, being able to sit down to do something and just do it. Like people can apparently just do that. Even with meds, it's still struggle. For it. Hating your wife, at, at least it's common where I live. My wife is amazing and we make each other better. Horrible, horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and, and just start swinging. People taking out loans for their wedding expenses. One of the number, re one 
of the number one reasons why people get a divorce is money. No, no better way to start off your marriage than in debt, I guess. The requirement of drama. I met so many people who are always in the midst of some drama, and then, when lacking in it, create it for themselves, then thrive off of it. I mean, at a push, they, I can understand to an extent, it gives them lives meaning possibly. But then they try and drag people like myself into their drama. Araria says, as a former drama queen, I can say that I didn't want the drama, but unfortunately, I was perceiving everything around me as being dramatic, and most often than not, as being a sort of attack on me. And since my mechanism to regulate my emotions was flawed, I was getting very worked up and caught up in emotional storms, where I was lashing out, plotting revenge, and so on. So embarrassing to look back at it all now. All right, guys. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for the next episode of the Ask Reddit series. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below your future requests for future videos, and we'll see you all soon. Take care.